Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Series 98 Tony Nese figures. This is his regular version and his chase version. I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com as can you. Save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. I'll save you some dough. Support yours truly, so thank you to everyone who does that. And uh, I was very excited to get these as well as the others in the set. This was one of the better lineups in a little while. Tony looks great as it is his very first action figure as it says first time in the line on the bottom left. And it's cool they did a chase variant. I just wish it was elite as the cruiserweight guys I think should always be elite versus basic considering how agile they are. Um, but both of these look really nice. I believe there's a rumored elite version coming. But we'll probably find out more at Comic-Con this year if that is in fact true. Hopefully it is. But uh, I think I prefer the Chase variant version, which is the silver, white, and black one, compared to the white, gold, and brown version, which is the more common release one. But they both look very nice. Looking at the back of the box, you can see the others in the set. So there's Ultimate Warrior, Elias, Finn Balor, and Ruby Riot. So that being said, let's take a look at them fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the basic 98 Tony Nese figures fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say they're pretty nice. Of course, I wish they were elite, being he is a cruiserweight. He deserves an elite figure so you could pose him, do all his crazy moves, stunts, whatever you'd like to call it. But I still am very excited to have this. I think he's an underrated guy. Very talented, does some really cool moves and stuff. So like I said, if you want a figure of him, I don't know if uh, he will have an elite. I would hope he does, but you never know with Mattel. So you can get a basic in the meantime. But anyway, let's take a look at his regular release first. So here is his head scan for his very first figure. I think it looks just like him, honestly. Hopefully the camera will focus. There you go. So the likeness is pretty good. You can see all the detail in his hair. He's got his uh, ponytail here in the back or bun, I guess. The bun's usually up there, but just a really thick ponytail. Looks good. His uh, head movement is restricted a bit because of his beard, but it's not very surprising. Still looks great. He's got the cheesy smile on his face. Of course, they made him ripped as he is in amazing shape. The typical elbow joints, of course. Ball jointed arms. Got to make him do his uh, muscle pose that he loves to do. But you can see all the detail in uh, his like wrist gauntlets here. They are painted on. They're not molded or anything. I'm looking at his trunks. See the unique designs going around on there. Little star there. And of course he has the stars on his knee pads. He does have knee joints, they are limited a little bit by the uh, thickness of the knee pad, so just be careful. Basic knees haven't been as fun to pose in a while. They're just, I don't know, posing basics in general has been rough. Some are better than others, of course. This isn't too bad, but his knees are a little restricted, unfortunately. Uh, but then lastly, looking at his kick pads, you can see similar designs. It says knees down this boot here. No ankle joints of course, but you can see all the detail in his kick pads which is really nice. And then we have the Chase variant version. You can, I believe, still get this on Ringstead. I haven't looked in a while, so I'm not sure if they have this one available separately. I imagine they do. Don't quote me on that though. Sometimes they sell out of stuff fast and being this is Tony's first figure, it wouldn't surprise me if it sold out. Um, but he has the same skin, same hairdo, everything's the same, just the attire is different. So he has silver trunks, he's got white, black, and silver uh, gauntlets on his wrists, also painted on. And similar uh, designs on his trunks, as you can see. And this one has tall black knee pads with silver stars. It does restrict the movement again, as you can see. So just be careful. It doesn't give him a wide range of motion. Which is why I think they don't do justice to him uh, as a basic versus an elite. But 
still cool for display, of course. And then, uh, yeah. See the details on his uh, kick pads? Hopefully, I'm not sure if it's too bright if the camera's picking up. There you go, it says Nice down this kick pad here, and then the other designs here. And the rest of the kick pads are all black. So yeah, that is Tony Nice's very first figures. Like I said, I hope we get an Elite. But these will do in the meantime, of course. You could get it on ringsidecollectibles.com. Save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. Support yours truly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.